So this is how we're gonna install this. I kind of put the tape there so okay. that we could figure out, that's the top of the board right there. So we gotta figure out placement for this. Okay. It's not an option here because you can find that and stuff in a way. It just won't work. Like this is probably the best spot. So I'm guessing right there is a good spot, kind of like eye level and whatnot. So we're gonna pick it up. I'll let you do your thing. Yeah. I'm actually gonna move it down a little lower. So we're gonna mark it. About center. We drill some holes. On these ones, I would like to use the four screws. I mean, we could, but that just gives like two extra holes. I don't like using it because it just puts a whole bunch of holes in the machines. this right I, my holes should line up it looks like they're gonna line up pretty good so we take this here and proceed to mount the swiper Will she be able to see like what has sold now? Um, I have to get her a DEX cable for this machine. It, it will, this one should do the reporting, but it's missing a cable. We'll have to put that on next week or so. Okay. But yeah, she'll be able to see reporting and stuff like that. package the modem or the delimiter. These are kind of cool because they got magnets on the back. Mm -hmm. Not like those crappy USA techs that require Velcro. But this is real easy. We're going to package this cable in there, your MDB index cable. Um, so what you're going to want to do is find this end that uh, this end the one with the black that's for your MDB and the DEX communication so that goes there click that in make sure it's good what I like to do with these before I really mount them and power them up is just take that out it's the SIM card just push it back in, make sure it's clicked in. So you're gonna kind of mock this up right there. You got this cable here for your communication from your reader to the modem. That just goes in there like that. 
I like to leave these wires a little bit loose for now. And then uh, we'll clean them up when we're almost done with the install. So this is your MDB. That always has to be first in line with the board, to the board. So, and then disconnect your MDB cable to the board, because this one actually has it directly to the board and plug in there, just like that. And then everything else, MDB, kind of goes into that, piggybacks into that. And then do it like that. So on this machine, I, there's an option to actually drill the top and have the antenna come out the top. But on this one here, I think I'll mount it inside because it's, it's, a, it's got the glass up front. So typically they do real well, like in this area. Okay. And it kind of conceals it. If there is a bunch of kids, I definitely wouldn't put it outside because they'll just mess with it, you know. So the other end of this is this terminal that just goes on the top here. Screw it on and it doesn't need to be super tight, but you want it to snug up for sure. We'll put this aside for now. This would go into the DEX cable for the machine. That would be necessity, a necessary thing for if you want to do like your um, run your vending management and get live info on your machine. But this machine doesn't have the DEX cable. It has the spot for it, but it won't have it. So I'm doing all this while your machine's I'm turned off. So now we got it all hooked up. I want to test it. I'm not going to zip tie anything yet, but uh, we'll fire it up right now and see what we got. You did all that in less than 10 minutes. I've done about <laughs> close to a thousand of these installs. So, I mean, so now you got to, wow. it's going to go through its boot up process and hopefully fetch an update if, if, it, if it has it. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit to boot up. Huh? I'm so proud of Donna. These guys are going to love this card reader here. <laughs> I'm sure that this, uh, this is, you know, really like call centers and stuff like that. It's, it's exactly why you want, you know, the type of place you want to put a card reader. Especially nowadays, no one ever carries cash. No one carries cash. Yeah. yeah. Did they give you a test card? Yes. They did? Yeah, okay, I gotta bring it up. No? Oh, you didn't bring it up? No. Okay, I think I'll get it down. It's we're ready down. for that. Oh, you are? Okay, there we go. So, okay, it, it went live. Let's try this one. Jeez. Even with a cash purchase, it'll talk, you know? Really? Yeah. Now, with that? I don't remember it talking. It does. This one does. So, let's try it. Let's put a dollar in. Oh, because now it's connected directly to the machine. Wow. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna work. So I'm gonna button up this wiring and kind of make it look good. So what you don't want to do when you install a card reader is just leave the wires hanging like a lot of people I roll up to a service call and they installed their own and it's like, yeah, there's, it's a mess. It's like this. A lot of wires all over the place and it's that's not good. I like to take it and 
just kind of figure out a way to tie all this up and sort of get it out of the way of the, the, uh, the, the rest of the guide. boards. So it just takes a little extra effort to just get it cleaned up out of the way. stuff's out of the way and you're good to go. So, we are live. So it's, they can pay with it, then I can put up my sign. Yeah, so this is a test card. It's a desired product. And Toxie. What? <laughs> yeah. Let's do the chip for 24. 24. Please wait for confirmation. That is Bam. awesome. So, oh, wait, oh, thank you. All the NIAX does, USA Tech won't do it, but it even talks with uh, dollars. Yeah, he just you, showed when me you right make now. Purchase with cash. It'll tell you thank you and all that. They asked, do I want Verizon or AT&T? Like, I don't know what's the best one. Verizon. Okay. I'd go with Verizon as a default. Mm -hmm. The I'd imagine that the antenna is one of the easiest parts to break, especially if people have them outside. Yeah. How much are those to replace? Because I imagine that you can just twist on a new antenna. They're not that expensive. I mean, uh, if I was going to replace it, buy a replacement, I'd buy the high gain ones. And they just screw in. I mean, you have to drill a hole in it. But end up, it's just a nub that sticks out. All the wires are then in the machine. 